Since today is National Pet Day, we are paying tribute to our four-legged friends. Please watch this. <laughs> We arrange for a play date with the dogs. I normally don't travel that far, but for dogs, I'll do anything. Last time we all got together with our dogs, it, it was a train wreck. Okay, let's bring out the pooches and hear about some of their incredible talents. What's the trick? So he didn't quite do the trick. <laughs> the last time you mean my dogs won the pooch pageant? The other dogs were the hot messes. Chacha ah. <laughs> is not over the pooch pageant. Chacha has now retained counsel. So we decided to give this one more shot. I don't want to give it another chance, Mommy. I told you that. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, what are we doing here? These seats are a little small for me, Miller. I don't understand why Sunny had to take a cab down here. Why didn't she just ride her dog? Also, classic Sunny has to have the highest heels, the biggest dog. Always, and, the, and the, the most drooly also. <laughs> I don't think that he drools all that much. Not more than any of the other women at the table. They're always drooling. Here you go. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. I just noticed that you and your dog have the same outfit. That is so annoying. <laughs> Adorable or annoying? It's adorable. <laughs> yes, I know it's stupid. She knows it's stupid, but we think it's cute. What's the matter with that? Nothing. Meanwhile, Bernie, my dog, was delightfully understated in a Gucci bow. Gucci for my picture. <sighs> How much longer do we have to be here? Oh, oh. thank you. Look at Sonny, how she feeds that monster. <laughs> That dog belongs in a petting zoo next to the llamas and the yaks. I'm giving you my middle nail, Joy. I don't belong anywhere except right here, next to my mama. Oh, hey, little girl. We're offering free pony rides. You can get a free pony ride on that Shetland pony right there. That's not a horse, that's a dog. I am, in fact, part horse. <laughs> You know, I was reading in the Journal of Dogs mm -hmm. that Shih Tzus are the smartest breed. Everyone knows poodles are the smartest dogs there are. I mean, Chacha is bilingual. She ignores me in both languages. Uh-huh, like your husband. <laughs> I'll tell you who the smartest dog was over there, my dog, Bernie. Before he pees on the New York Times, he reads it. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. He's not just turning five. <laughs> Hey, Joy, you should sing your special song for Chacha's birthday. Okay, yeah. I will. Shall I do it? Yeah, yes. sure, go okay. ahead. You've never done it for me. Here we go. <laughs> Today is a birthday. We wonder for whom. We know that it's some dog that's here in this room. <laughs> so look all around you for somebody who is laughing and barking. My goodness, it's you. Yeah. Thank you, Pia Joy. Finn will at least have a little bit of um, peanut butter ice cream. We don't want to make him too chubby. Sonny's horse needs Manjaro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's so funny. I've never heard it before. Oh, jeez. My god. A bitch cafe. This is what we've come to. A cafe just for dogs. It's bad enough I have to walk on a leash. But I'm not saying anything. I'm just talking about all those bitches in the restaurant. And what is that giant thing? Big and brown. Honestly, I think it went better than the table. There was not a lot of cross barking. Everyone got to make their point. At the end of the day, the dogs were perfect. The humans, on the other hand, could use a trainer. What the fake redhead said. supposed to be about body positivity at this table, and there was a lot of size shaming going on. <laughs> it did feel a little rough. My, my dog wore a tuxedo, OK, and dressed himself. Uh, Whoopi doing the voiceovers was the best part, because I hadn't gotten to see that yet. It was so good. How many voices? What was the biggest helicopter mama? 
sunny. I mean, shocker. Navarro is bad, too. Navarro. Anna. Anna's terrible. But that dog's very she independent. She doesn't let that little rat she, out of her no, sight. She wears Cha -cha, like yeah. a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Finn and I have bonded, and so, yes, I take care of him, and he takes care of me. OK. Did they have any size requirements for entering, or was See, everyone... size shaming. OK. <laughs> Before we go too far, that's how I shut them up. <laughs> we want to say special thanks to Logan and her dad, uh, they are the co-owners of oh. Boris and Horton, oh. the oh. New York Canine Cafe oh. that hosted. And for more information on this very special place to go with your dog, you can uh, go to our website and and get. I will give you all the information because it's very friendly, as you saw. So it's yeah. quite wonderful. So and thanks, thank you.